In the City of London, it's money that normally does the talking. But on their visit to the Bank of England, it was what the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh said that has got everyone chatting. After having been guided through the bank's gold vault, the Queen finally got an answer to a question she controversially posed four years ago. Here at a visit to the London School of Economics in 2008, she was heard asking why nobody noticed the economic downturn coming. Back to today and... And he and his group here are going to answer your question from four years ago of, uh, why nobody saw the crisis coming. And after a brief explanation, another question, this time from the Duke. There's another one coming in. <laughs> but the Queen, it seemed, was engaged and had plenty to say on the matter. But people have got a bit lax, Complacency. And then a question about the city's regulator. Services. What do they call them? The regulator. Uh, financial services authority. authority, which was really quite new, wasn't it? Really, really. <coughs> but it didn't. It didn't have any teeth. Or something. These are sensitive issues, and while couched largely in question form, the comments may be seen as interference. She's asking the sort of questions that anybody else would ask. Anybody who is in business, anybody who is suffering as a result of the credit squeeze, anybody who is in debt, anybody who really is struggling, they would ask the same questions. It just so happens it was the Queen at the Bank of England. She had a captive audience in the very people that run the economy, so why not ask the questions? In this case, the questions have resulted in a statement from the Financial Services Authority in which they say, we've widely acknowledged that the regulatory approach before the financial crisis in 2008 was flawed and has since been completely changed. Parliament is now awaiting royal assent for the Financial Services Bill. Like it or not, the Queen isn't just about handshakes and bouquets. What she says carries a lot of value. How much of an impact these comments will have is the million-pound question. Paul Harrison, Sky News.